A long, long time ago, I had this idea to deliver small presents to all the good children in the world. One little reward, a prize for staying out of trouble and being nice to their friends. Over time, the idea developed into a whole business here at the North Pole, with hundreds of elves at my workshop and a new state-of-the-art sleigh equipped with nine sprightly reindeer. Of course, it wasn't long before many others wanted to get involved, and the North Pole became a regular meeting point of all sorts of festive characters, wanting to be a part of the magic that is Christmas. Oh, look, here is one of them now. He's not very good at this, is he? Anyway, with all those people around my workshop, the same questions kept coming up. Aren't you getting a bit old? Don't you think it's time to retire soon? Enjoy the snow for once without having to work all winter. Uh, oh dear, now he's turned himself off. Well, after much deliberation, I have decided that it is indeed time to step back and let someone else take over the business. So, I put the biggest Christmas enthusiast of them all, Jack here, in charge of finding a suitable replacement. Of course, Jack was very eager to help, but I didn't forget what happened last time. He was perhaps a little too eager to save Christmas. But I am sure he will make a fervent and festive moderator. And that is, if he can manage to turn on his camera. <clears throat> ah, well done, Jack. Oh, well, let's see how this goes. Enjoy the show, everyone. Oh, and don't tell them I'm listening in. Ah, here we go. Can you hear me? Yes? Wonderful. Let's try again then. Welcome, everyone. I'm very pleased that you could join us today for the much-awaited debate on Santa's succession. Unfortunately, due to the uh, global pandemic, the North Pole Arena is closed until further notice. Uh, but that's not a problem. We do keep up with the latest technology out here after all. As has been announced in the news all over the magical and mystical community, Santa Claus is going into a well-earned retirement after 1,743 years of faithful service to the world. But who will be his successor? Who is fit to take on such a monumental task and live up to the high standards set by Mr. Claus? Tonight, Several committees have gathered here, here online, that is, uh, um, all hoping that their respective candidate will win the vote and take over. Now, let me introduce you to the representatives of the Council for the Maintenance of Festive Traditions, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and the Virgin Mary of Nazareth. Good evening. Thanks for having us, Jack. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. And here to represent the Xmas Xmas Task Force, please welcome Cindy Lou Who and Her Royal Highness, the Ice Queen. Hello, everyone. And 
Finally, here are Mr. Grinch and Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge from the Cancel Crit. Oh. I'm not sure you quite understood the purpose. No, no, no. We understood perfectly well. Thank you very much, Jack. Go on. Uh, yes. Mr. Grinch and Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge from the Cancel Christmas Committee. Uh, welcome. Um, why don't you introduce your suggestions for Santa's succession? Let's start with Her Highness, the Queen of Frostiness, and the young Miss Cindy Lou. Thank you. Our committee suggests that I take over Santa's position, as I am more than capable of bringing along that winter chill. I am also very skilled in planning and scheduling with military precision. She means to say that she has a lot of experience working in cold areas and that as a queen she has a lot of leadership experience as well. Uh, oh, I, I see, yes. Well, uh, let's move on to our traditionalist committee. Uh, Rudolf, Mary? Of course, we would like to put Rudolf here forward for the job. He's brave and stout-hearted and such a foresighted leader who always knows where he's going. Indeed. I have been a faithful companion and helping hand to Santa for many years now. I've got a lot of experience on the job. I know my way around the workshop and there's no weather frightening enough to put me off delivering those presents on time. Oh, thank you. And lastly, who does our other committee recommend? Why, no one, of course. Don't you get it, Skullhead? Uh, there's no need for profanity, Scrooge. That's Mr. Scrooge to you. All right, all right, uh, please. Calm down, everyone. I'm sure no one meant any offense. You see, Mr. Scrooge, that's not how an election works. You must have a candidate, an existing one, to put forward. Fine, then our candidate is everyone. What? 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 Everyone? They can get their own goddamn- Language, please. Fine, they can get their own blasted presents themselves. It's not like anyone believes we exist anyway. Indeed, those ungrateful humans can see where they end up without us. That is not the purpose of this meeting. Jack, their committee should be excluded from this debate. Uh, well, strictly speaking, everyone is an existing candidate. So I suppose we will just have to listen to what they have to say. Uh, all right, let the debate begin. Who would like to start? Go ahead. I suggest that Christmas should be canceled and we all retire. It's not like we're being paid enough for our labors in the first place. People can get their own bloody presents. This is unbelievable. I wanted to be. Well, there is no need to voice your emotions at the present moment. Everyone will get their turn to speak their mind, so at least attempt to behave in a civilized way. Sorry, Jack. We'll keep quiet now. Yes, shut up and listen, you rude bastards. You call others rude? How are they even allowed to be part of this debate? Don't discriminate against us just because we don't share your opinion, Cloud Nose. Oh, you little piece of Please, continue, Mr. Scrooge and Mr. Grinch. We could all increase our profits considerably by turning to other events. There are plenty of occasions- In a <laughs> nutshell, Christmas is an event of senseless consumerism, promoting capitalism, and someone has to put an end to it. All right, your point has been noted. Uh, who would like to continue with their argument? Uh, go ahead, Rudolf. Uh, you need to unmute yourself. I heartily disagree. Humanity needs this holiday to spread some light into an increasingly darkening world. We should celebrate love, charity, and tradition. Excuse me, I'd like to contribute. I agree with Rudolf, we do need a holiday, but it's about time the ladies took over. Look at the amount of female elves working in the workshop. 
they're the ones who make it happen. Yet it is Santa who gets all the praise. We need a strong female leader to keep the business going. Ah, humbug. You already said it. There's so many female elves working in the workshop. Why do they also need to take over Santa's position? Shut up, reindeer. May I remind everyone of the recent complaints we've received that the business is run in a very disorderly and chaotic fashion. Perhaps what we need is a person with a certain talent for organization to manage this task. Be that as it may, what people need right now is stability. In this age of declining faith, this religious tradition is a last beacon of hope to cling to when everything else is descending into chaos. Why should we change anything now, when everything has worked out smoothly for 1,743 years? Who cares about tradition? Half of modern society isn't even Christian anyways. What do they care about your love and charity and tradition? Yes, stop the soppy talk. It's not soppy talk! Oh please, this holiday is about the Christmas spirit and being kind to each other which is dying out, but least of all because the religious traditions surrounding it are so exclusively male. A female Santa could work in your favour. She does have a point there, you know. But I don't understand why we should change the system when everything has worked out fine for so long. People are so used to Santa. I'm sure having a completely different figure appear would create mayhem. Imagine if a, a child accidentally saw a female Santa. All the stories would have to be rewritten, and all those childhood memories would be destroyed, and not to mention the huge effort it would take to change the name in every document. Because a big old reindeer sliding down the chimney wouldn't frighten anyone. Uh, at least people know my name. I get recognized wherever I go. It's almost annoying. What would you call the new Santa anyways? Say Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> Anyway, it's tradition, it's how we've always done it, so I have to agree with Mary. I don't see why we should change everything so quickly, and such a change would also reduce our credibility. At least Santa was somewhat plausible as an historically male figure, and uh, I'm not sure a, a female figure would fit into the narrative here. You're just a fucking patriarch. You need to stop viewing Santa through the past. What wasn't deemed plausible or acceptable during his time is now perfectly normal. Rudolph, you just can't cope with losing power. Uh, he suggests we all take a short break to reorganize. I don't our... give a damn who does the job. The point is the job is not worth doing. Today's children are spoiled, rude, and ungrateful. They already have everything they could possibly want, and they still wish for more crazy stuff every year. And with the new indirect delivery system via their parents, no one even knows about the hard work that goes into it. I say we just leave them sitting on their selfish little arses. What? No! As much as I would like to agree with you, that is not a solution to our problem. Let it go! Let it go! Can't hold it back anymore! Let it go! Right! That's it. I need a break. Let's all take a moment to calm down before we continue. I apologize for this interruption. <sighs> In light of the previous disagreement, let me make a suggestion to move the conversation along a bit. How about we split the work? We could continue working indirectly with the delivery through the parents so as to not confuse the children, but 
half of the territory is covered by a male Santa and half is covered by a female Santa. It's completely useless. What's the point of having a female Santa? We have no visibility at all. No, we need to go back to direct delivery. And what about us? You didn't even consider our interests. Quite so. But the young lady is right. If we don't renew interest in the business, we'll be bankrupt in no time. But people need stability. I am the only way to keep the business running the way it always has been run without upsetting anyone. You are so patronizing, Rudolph. Do you really believe that people couldn't cope with a female Santa? That they could cope with a horned mule and its swollen nose? Oh, burn. How could you be so heartless? Guys, can we please focus? Why don't we try all three approaches over a trial period of, let's say, three years to see how it all works out? Mean we take turns? I don't see how that will work. That does not sound very profitable. That's why it would be a trial period. You can take turns. Each of you gets to do the job for one year. We could monitor our progress and after three years, we'll decide which model works best and they get to be the new Santa. Let's do a quick show of hands. Who could live with that temporary solution? <clears throat> ah, well, <laughs> it's decided then. We will form a judging panel and commence with the preparations for Christmas. Now, Jack, hold on a minute. Who gets to go first? I say the one who asks. Christmas is pretty soon. Why bother reorganizing everything on such short notice? We can just call it off. Well, no, in that case, we should stick with tradition and let me go first. Yes, it only makes sense to let Rudolph go first. He already knows about all the technicalities of distributing the presents. And as Mr. Scrooge said, Christmas isn't that far away. You don't have a clue about organizing such a large operation. You've only ever been the animal pulling the sleigh. I'd like to add that it's about high time the ladies got to go first, for once. No, I stick with old Scroogey boy here. We should try our approach first. Certainly not. Your method is lazy. You always say you're so organized, but have we ever seen any proof of that? How dare you insinuate something like that? Now you're just desperate, Rudolph. Oh, leave him alone. It is true, though. Doing nothing first is a terrible idea. Then whoever comes after has to pick up the pieces of a failed Christmas. Precisely. And that will be quite a catastrophe. It would not. There are many other worthwhile occasions that we could work on. Or oh, we could do nothing at all. That is not the point of this meeting. We should just start doing birthdays instead. That is way more lucrative. Yes! I believe what I'm just hearing. Oh, oh you shut up. I'm just hearing a single word from you. Right. This meeting is over. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? It looks like it won't be easy to find someone to replace me. Unless... No, no, no. But perhaps... Hmm. Perhaps I should simply stay on for another year. Or three. Or more. It's not like I don't like the job after all. Retiring wasn't really my idea anyway, and clearly, I'm needed. It's decided then. Christmas is certainly still coming for you this year. Oh, oh, oh! Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.